Hello and long time no see everybody. Uh, it's Brian here with Asian Adventures and uh, well I'm not in Asia right now. I'm actually in the United States. Obviously a lot going on with uh, COVID-19 and all of that. So we're in Texas. Uh, big beautiful blue sky Texas. It's a beautiful day today and we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of barbecuing. <clears throat> and since all this has been going on, I've been actually doing quite a lot of barbecuing. And uh, I don't know, I just... I'm used to gas grills and I got given, I found actually, a charcoal grill. So I've been doing some charcoal grilling, um, but I was struggling with my coals and getting them lit. So I did a little bit of research and uh, I heard about charcoal chimneys and that's what we're going to talk about today. So, for those of you who don't know what a charcoal chimney was, because up until about a week ago, I had no idea either. Basically, it's this. Okay, now I've made this one myself um, just because I was bored and I'm inside all the time. So why not do something and have some fun, you know, little little activity, little craft, why not? So I went ahead and made this one and I'm going to show you uh, what I did to make this right now. All right, so here's my uh, charcoal chimney that I made. So uh, it's actually really simple. This is just an old, an old coffee can. Um, metal, obviously, uh, that's really important because obviously this is going to get very, very hot. Um, down in here, besides the paper and the pine cones, which I'll talk about in a minute, um, this right here, this wire here, that's just an old, two old wire coat hangers that I straightened out and then uh, drilled holes through my can and then crimped them along the side here so that they won't move. I also drilled holes all around the outside here. That's for uh, ventilation as well as for lighting the paper uh, that is down in there. And then right here I just have a very long bolt, a couple nuts on either side, a washer, and then a uh, nice piece of wood. This is a bit of willow and uh, weeping willow actually, so I call this the weeping chimney. I know it's a little bit cheesy, but that's just the way it is. Um, so anyway, uh, really, easy, re really easy build, really only took about half hour to put together source source the items put together um really wasn't that bad and i'm actually really quite proud of it so now to talk about how you use this now as you saw um i already have some paper so you want to just lightly pack some paper in here and i also put a pine cone or a partial pine cone down there in the middle just because they're really good fire starters they hold a lot of heat and they uh just allow for the the the, the fire to keep on burning so I got that in there and that'll help me light my fire. Now what you do next is you throw the coals in top. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I have absolutely nothing against charcoal briquettes, but I prefer using the lump charcoal. I just, I just feel like it gets a better burn. It lasts longer and better f overall flavor uh, that goes into the meat. In my opinion, maybe I'm full of it, but that's just how I feel. So all you gotta do is just get your charcoal into the burner doesn't need to be crazy packed obviously this is quite a large can so you can actually get quite a lot in there um, and depending on what you're cooking you might need to have these just kind of be your starter coals and then you'd have some more coals that are unlit inside your barbecue and then you can just put these what will be lit coals on top of those and then you can have a larger fire. So I've got that all lit up. Then all you'll need to do, and I'll show you in a minute, obviously this is still in the morning. We're gonna be having a barbecue tonight. So you're gonna get a little, uh, a little glimpse of that in a minute, but I'm gonna basically just light the paper on in all of these holes here. And then about 15, 20 minutes later, this is gonna be good to go. I'll throw it down there on my, on my grill and we'll be able to start grilling some chicken tonight. So uh, I will show you that. Uh, in the next clip, which will be a few hours from now. All right. Okay, so here we are uh, a few hours later. I'm going to go ahead and light this. So as I said earlier, uh, we got the charcoal up here in the top uh, filled up nice. And then I'm just going to use my lighter here and just light the paper and the pine cone um, through these slots right here. So let's go ahead and get that started. All right, so now all we got to do is just leave that for about 15, 20 minutes. And uh, this is the first time I've ever done this, so hopefully this will work well. 
So the lighting is not all that great out here, but I hope that you can tell. Um, this is after about 15 minutes. Um, and we actually have like proper big flames coming out of the top of this and uh, we're starting to get some nice uh, graying on the charcoal So maybe just another couple minutes and this baby will be good to go to throw on the grill and start cooking Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead these coals are good and ready So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, dump them down in That, that is beautiful. So exactly as advertised, we've got screaming hot coals, and now we are ready to cook. And as evidence behind me, everything is working very well. Um, I got some chicken on the grill. We're gonna have some skewers, uh, for the vegetable skewers on there in a few minutes. Um, everything is going about swimmingly. I'm very, very happy. Um, highly recommends. Uh, hopefully one of these days I'll get around to making a build video for the, uh, for the uh, weeping chimney, as I call it. Um, but you can buy them online um, or in, stop, in shops and stuff. Lowe's has them. Home Depot hardware stores will probably carry them of all types. Um, and they, are, they range in price anywhere between uh, 10 all the way up to $40, $50 for some of the really, really nice ones. Um, but like I said, I built this one out of about $2 worth in stuff. And of course the can is just an old coffee can. So yeah, anyway, uh, a lot of fun. Uh, highly recommend, give it a shot and uh, enjoy your summer everybody, bye. Hello everybody, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, be sure to hit that like button down below and share it on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, all that different stuff. Don't forget to also leave a comment down below if you're feeling a bit chatty. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can see more of my videos. So until next time, bye!